Okay, perfect. All right, so I'm going to throw it over to Hart first. Can you guys hear me? Yes, yes, Hart. Hi, good evening, Coach. I was good wondering evening. what your thoughts were on the game tonight. It looked quite, quite similar to the game we saw against RSL, where you guys were very strong in the first half, and the second half maybe doesn't go your way. So what were your thoughts on this game? Well, no, maybe the, the same as RSL. RSL would completely dominate the first half. Here it was, I would say, an even, an even game in the first half, an even game in the second half. Uh, I think we had the, the same amount of chance. I think it was a game that we could have uh, tied. Uh, unfortunately, we missed a couple of chances in front of the goal. Uh, uh, we considered, uh, uh, especially the second goal, I would say, uh, we were a little bit too soft. We were in numerical superiority, and they broke us centrally to free the space for the for the player on the side. Uh, we knew we knew that was going to be very difficult here because it's it's no secret that it's hard for us. We didn't we haven't won here since 2015, and uh, we fought. We tried to to put uh, fresh legs in the second half because uh, uh, the game was very. Dynamic, up and down, and uh, um, unfortunately, again they score after the after the second goal. We had two big chances. One with Javain that basically Sergio saved the saved the the ball because if not, it would have been a goal. And then the great save by the keeper against uh, against Rusty. I think that uh, we deserve to tie, but uh, it looks like um, uh, you know. We need to be better because you know if we deserve to win last time and we lost, if we deserve to tie today and we lost, uh, it uh, they say three three coincidences make a clue. I think that let's make it two and and uh, and stop it and start making points from Wednesday. Thank you very much, coach. Thank you, Ar. All right. Just a reminder: if you have a question, please raise your hand. We'll go to Joshua next. Hi, Vanny. I just wanted to ask you about your substitutions and what was the reasoning to take off Julian and why didn't you change any of the fullbacks like you did last week against RSL? Yeah, we the the, the game went through through the eights a lot, and uh, I think that uh, uh, Luis and uh, and and Chavain, they were doing a uh, actually. Uh, 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 an honest job, uh, to be honest, on the side and the game and the games uh, went through the number eight a lot with Montero and Newell moving a lot and so I wanted the uh, fresh legs there. That's the reason why we put Rusty. And uh, uh, unfortunately, the last substitution was uh, meant to happen like five minutes later with maybe a double substitution, but Shop got a little injured on uh, on the ankle and that's the reason why we put Sebastian in. Thank you. All right, thank you. We'll go to Michael McCall, please. Hey, Vani. Um, I just kind of wanted to look ahead to Wednesday. I know this is maybe not the, the ideal time, but I will get a chance to speak yeah. to you before our show comes out. So, taking this into Wednesday, obviously, yeah, we had been looking to get the team off to a fast start. It hasn't quite happened. No. Nope. Is Wednesday one of those games where you can try and shake some things off. How much importance do you put on this game now, having lost these first two games? Well, the importance was enormous, even if we were win, if we won these two games. But especially now, because we lost, uh, getting uh, I would say change of pace and 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 play better, uh, it's uh, it's fundamental. And uh, you know, uh, it's a different game in the sense that uh, we need to think. Uh, Maybe I hope that it's gonna be also because I don't know if it's a mental thing that you know twice we were up and we and we conceded two goals. So uh, Wednesday is actually we don't have to think about it because uh, uh, whatever is the results, uh, we need to score the next goal and not concede because it's a it's a 180 minutes game. So we need to go 
uh, at the best of our ability on Wednesday and try to, to win the game and uh, and not only to go further in the Champions League but uh, to uh, start a series of victory that uh, needs to happen also in the in the league too. What are you expecting from Real España? Looking at how they played in the CONCACAF league to get here, yeah. they were unbeaten uh, in all their away games. Are, are you expecting a team that's going to come and bunker? Because that has been the kind of teams that you've struggled to break down. I think so. I think so that uh, it's going to be a team that is going to play with a low, low, low barrier center. So uh, I don't want to say park the bus, but uh, let's wait for us. And then they have very fast technical. I would say, you know, uh, typical Central American, South American players in, in at top that can be very uh, dangerous in counter attack. So. Uh, we need to be better than we've been in, the, in these two games, uh, uh, capitalizing the chances because, you know, today too we had the goal, two great chances in the first half, two enormous chances in the second half and getting away, scoring only one goal is uh, what kills us. Just last thing about Wednesday for me, the, looking at their team, like they've, they've got a couple of dangerous guys in, in Roca and Benavides, but they also look to be quite a physical team. They've picked up a lot of bookings in Champion and CONCACAF League, they've picked up a lot of bookings in the Honduran League. Are you expecting a physical game and how do you get your team not to get embroiled in all this kind of typical CONCACAF nonsense? Uh, we need to be very good in uh, moving the ball fast from a side to another and uh, uh, putting in a way that uh, we're going to make the field as big as we can when we have the ball uh, with the width of our fullback and uh, the movement of our tents in, or in order to create space and uh, avoid uh, them to let's say make the game like uh, as you said before like a kind of a brawl where it's really hard to play in between the lines so that's uh, what we need to do James Fanny thank you thank you Michael Felipe hi coach uh, it seemed like in the first half the team played with a lot of good possession they did a high press for the first half and then in the second half it sort of fell away they went back into their shell and invited pressure was that your plan to sort of sit back a bit or was that something that uh, the players sort of fell into as the pressure grew no 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 it wasn't a plan at all the plan was to keep going and try to win the ball high and to attack the spacing behind uh, that's the reason why we made the changes on uh, players in the higher position because we wanted fresh guys there that could sustain the the uh, uh, keep the pressure so we, that's the reason why we put Dajo that's the reason why we put Sergio uh, and we changed the midfielders uh, they were able to do a little more I would say I think that the game wasn't that different between the first and the second half. I think they had chance in the first half, we had chance in the first half, they had chance in the second half, we had chance in the second half. Uh, at the end, uh, they scored one chance more than us. I think at the end, uh, the number of chances are more or less the same. And uh, again, we need to be better in those uh, decisive moments. And what, what lessons are you going to be taking into uh, Wednesday's match against Real España and even to FC Dallas next week back at BC Place? Uh, uh, we need to take the lesson of, uh, again, uh, everything go through being very compact and very um, good when we don't have the ball. Uh, because then it's going to be... Uh, like uh, hard to win the ball high and uh, and and possess. Uh, I'm okay if we make some mistakes in possession, like we did sometimes today. Because if you want to be if you want to be a team that propose, if you want teams that attack, we need to have, take risk also sometimes, and uh, we need to keep uh, working. I know that now everyone is on the down low, but uh, we need to have the chin up and go 100 miles per hour because Wednesday is uh, is very important. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Thanks,
course, that's all we have for you tonight. Safe travels back to Vancouver. Fantastic. See you next week, guys.